All right, guys, everybody, I thank you for hopping on. And um, this is our inaugural uh, man Zoom. And we are super, super excited to have all you guys. Um, we'll get into uh, like formal introductions in a minute. But uh, I guess first, what we kind of wanted to explain was um, why, we just, why we started this group and kind of what we want to accomplish uh, from it. Um, we really felt like there was kind of a need for a man community. And I feel like you guys all felt the same way. Um, we really do need a community um, of people that are working in this business and trying to grow their business or trying to help their wife grow the business. Um, I feel like the community is super, super necessary. And also not just for like, you know, hanging out, but also for the accountability aspect of it. Because if there's one thing that that really step makes you step up your game is being accountable. I know that's, I know that's the, the case for me. And I think it is for most people. And this group will really help us to stay accountable to each other. Because, you know, if, like, if I start, if I stop posting, you're going to know it. Okay. So, because we're all pretty much connected in this group. So accountability is huge. And this will give us that. Um, we'll be doing some things probably, you know, we haven't talked about it, but I'm sure we'll be doing some things, you know, as far as like, um, just keeping each other accountable, like on different posts and stuff, um, checking in. And I also want to make sure that, um, that we have a good layer of support in here as well. Um, if you guys need anything at all, um, I want you guys to be able to post it in, in the, in the group and get kind of a man centered answer. Um, cause sometimes I know it feels kind of like the other, the main pages are just like girls, you know, cause that's what it is. It's just a bunch of girls. So it's kind of hard for us to stay connected and kind of feel like we're, we're kind of in the same, uh, I don't know, realm or business it, it just i don't know I, I feel like this will give us a um a little bit of togetherness so to see so anyway so you're so basically we want a community who wants some accountability and we need to be able to support each other so if you have any kind of questions or you're feeling like you're kind of in the stalemate just feel free to post in this in this group and uh we'll all pull together and um and help each other out all righty i also want to be able this group to, to fuel everyone to to step up their game to a next level, okay? I want this this group to really change the expectations, or I say I, me, Brian, and Andy. <laughs> I always speak to speak about myself, but uh, but me, Brian, and Andy really want to to this group to really change the expectations that that this business has for men, because um, really I feel like it's you know in the in the past it's been men are just really big like supporters of their wife, but they don't really take initiative and like work the business themselves. Um, which is, you know, Mike and, uh, and Mark were powerhouses. Um, the owner and the, what is Mike, the chief uh, sales officer, I believe. Um, they were both powerhouses in, uh, in MLMs for, for years. I mean, Mark, that's how, he, that's how he made a lot of his money initially, is he was, he was an incredible um, recruiter and, uh, and seller in an MLM. I think it was like phone cards, you know, back in the day when they had long distance phone cards. But he sold the crap out of them. And so men are just as, as just as, as able as anyone else or, you know, as women to do MLMs. And really it's only in America where, where it's worth kind of thought of as just kind of a women's business. It's just naturally in our mind, we think it's women, but, uh, but really internationally, if you look at international, they had last year a conference they had the, all the international top leaders up on stage and they were almost, I mean, half of them were men. I mean, the, the leader for France is a guy. And uh, he's killing it. Uh, we actually sat behind him at the conference this year. There's two two French leaders, and they're they're both men. They're both one and two, and they're huge. So um, see, there's definitely a place for men, and we're just we're. I, I really want this group to really help us pave the way, and really to support each other and make sure that we that we really do reach that next level um, through that accountability and everything. Um, but yeah, also I say I say as if. I fully realize that a lot of men aren't going to be, are just looking for a way to help their wives out as well. Because that's where I think we all start. Uh, my child. Anyway, we all start at that level of, most of us at least, where our wife, is, our wife started the business and we're trying to figure out how we can support her. She's starting to gain some traction and we want to, we want to be involved as well. So I feel like we all know 
um, how that feels and so we can support, you know, guys that are just jumping in and need that kind of support too. So um, this isn't just about, you know, men posting and all that stuff. This is also about guiding guys on how to help their wives you know, jump sort of off the ground. So anyway, and that's kind of what we're trying to do with the, with the group. And um, I really am super excited about it. Yeah, I know Andy is too. Uh, I mean, Andy and uh, um, Brian. I did some old thing with Brian. You know, Brian kickstarted it. And I feel like we can all just take it and, and just build each other up with it. I'm super pumped about it. But um, I guess what we can start off with is um, kind of introductions. Um, first of all, I kind of left this out, but I am Zach Hayes. Uh, my wife is Brittany Hayes. Uh, she's a triple diamond. I'm a double diamond in the business. And uh, I guess we've been in this business for 19 months. So not too long, uh, but long enough to uh, kind of get our bearings on it. And seriously, it has changed our life. Guys, before we Friday It Works, um, I was uh, I had my own pond and lake management business. And uh, I was doing my, my grind all day long neck deep in, in water and just kind of kill weeds and beavers and it was not fun, okay? But uh, this has absolutely changed my life, guys. Um, I have, I actually have free time. Um, I'm an avid fisherman, so I actually, you know, I actually am able to fish. I have been able to fish in years. So it's given me, it's given me freedom. It's given me time for my kids. And I, am, I can't say enough amazing things about the business. So that's pretty much all about me. Um, who else here? Let's go to uh, Brian. Hey guys, yeah, my name's Brian Flores. Uh, I've worn a lot of hats. Uh, my wife and I got married pretty early. Um, she was 18 and I was 22. And uh, we had kids pretty young right off the bat. Uh, we wanted to have kids pretty early, but it was about six months into our marriage and we had our first daughter on the way. So. Um, yeah, I got, we got married early. I don't have, I dropped out of college. I had started a degree for law enforcement and I got two years into it and it's going to sound weird maybe to some of you, maybe some of you won't, but I feel like the Lord just called me out of it. And, um, and that's when I went and uh, started doing construction. I went to Bethany Bible college where I met Claire. We got married, had kids early again, and uh, I just wore a lot of hats to make men's to make ends meet, um, I worked construction. I worked. Uh, we remodeled homes. I've I've worked at Lowe's selling appliances, selling flooring. I just I just wore any hat that would take care of us and provide for my family. And um, when I found it works for me, it was just like I'd never seen so much opportunity um, available to me and uh, just accessible because I mean if you look at like uh, when I was doing working for Lowe's I was making around forty thousand dollars and but to, 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 to really advance I would have to become management upper management and if I really wanted to make a lot of money store manager so some people say well it works as a pyramid scheme which is false but if you look at all of life it's a big pyramid scheme you've got store managers at the top, district managers, and then you got the owners. And um, it's just it's kind of how life is. So with It Works, I saw an opportunity to, to make a lot of money and by, we would really get paid for what we did. Um, the effort we put in, we were really gonna get paid for. Um, so I guess that's, that's kind of my background how we entered it and my, um, my excitement with the company is, I mean, the sky's the limit. Uh, you can just keep going and going and going. So uh, very excited about it works. Um, yeah, we're presidential triple diamond. Uh, some of the things that I love to do, I love anything outdoors, hunting, fishing, hiking. Um, one, of my, one of my hobbies that I like that I get crap from, from Andy Rogers is, uh, is metal detecting. <laughs> He actually sent me a shirt that said, ah, uh, that, uh, said the beach better have my money. <laughs> I, I wear it with pride, but it was a good, it was good. Um, so that's one of my hobbies, but I, I just like getting outdoors, digging up old stuff. It's fun. Zach, that's uh did you want me to do just introduction or? 
Do you yeah, go into the introduction and then we'll uh, we'll introduce or Andy can introduce himself and then we can just uh, start off you know with the questions after that. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Andrew. Introduce yourself and then I'll give the first question. All right. Well, um, I think I've met pretty much all you guys. So uh, my name's Andy Rogers. Uh, me and my wife uh, Katie are triple and double diamonds with It Works. Um, we've been in it for I think just over two years. Um, so I still work a uh, full-time job, 40 hours a week for a family business. Um, we do environmental work. So, uh, it's one of those things where, um, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's, it's something that's, uh, I feel like it's good for me to kind of get away from the house and, uh, do my own thing. So, um, I think that a lot of guys in it works, uh, probably are not to the point where they can just retire or if they don't want to retire. Um, so that's just, uh, that's my story and it's, and that's just where we're at right now. Awesome. Yeah. So basically you see, we have a pretty, a pretty diverse group of guys, uh, in different, you know, different walks of life and different, different situations. So I feel like we have a, a lot to offer for pretty much everybody. Um, so first thing I want to kind of uh, hit on, or the first question we have, is uh, basically how um, somebody asked how can they help their wife um, with a business. So they basically, you know, everyone does it differently, but Andy specifically, um, how do you help your wife uh, with a business? So I've got a few things. Um, first thing is with charting. Um, I have like kind of our own little uh, charting spreadsheet that we go through. Um, we can put different people in. It shows different volumes and things like that. Um, so that's kind of a, a one less thing that she has to worry about as far as like getting people in the right places and who's got the volume and stuff like that. So charting is always a big thing. Um, also, I've got uh, taxes. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, 1099 employees have quite a few tax uh, differences between W-2s, uh, W-2 employees, I guess. Um, so uh, tax time, which is right about now, is kind of always a big time for us um, as far as getting all of the, all of the, basically the pieces in place and things like that. Um, this is a very woman dominated business, I feel like. So moral support is a big thing. Uh, there's always differences between, between women and things like that. And there's always some kind of, uh, it sounds bad, but there's always a fire to put out. <laughs> so, uh, there's always differences between women. So it's, it's always good to just kind of almost be like, uh, that ear that uh, that she can bend and the shoulder she can cry on when she needs it. Um, so that's always a good thing. Um, and then as far as I do, not so much blitzing, but I always am wearing It Works gear out in public. And uh, we actually, we get a lot of questions from different people about, well, what works? What is it? What's that company? So it, just wearing the gear even, I mean, that, that brings in uh, so many questions and that leads to a lot of conversations that, uh, that can lead other places. Absolutely. Um, I think that's huge. I, I wear gear, like that's just all I do. But yeah, uh, gear is huge. People, when you have an It Works shirt on, I'll stop talking here a second. Yeah, people are like, what the heck? Like what, it, what works? And it's perfect. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, as far as like back office to, um, and taxes and everything, uh, do you deal with her um, back office any at all or like reports or anything like that? Or is it mainly like taxes and that kind of stuff and like basically being walking billboard? Right, right. Yeah. So for me, it's mainly since I do work a full time job, I'm not. I don't do, I know a lot of guys uh, like you and Brian do the uh, Instagram and Facebook type stuff going, going uh, in and friending people and messaging and commenting on stuff like that. I'm not quite to that point yet. That is definitely a goal that I have for myself. 
Um, as far as social media goes, I'm, I haven't ever been that kind of person that just constantly posts on social media and stuff like that. So uh, that's definitely a goal that I have and, uh, and uh, to basically get better at posting consistently and uh, doing Instagram consistently and things like that. Um, but yeah, so as far as right now, it's pretty much the, the back end type deal for me. It's uh, I do the taxes and I go and do, like I said, the charting and stuff like that. Um, to kind of try and take, take uh, what I can off of her plate as far as like the technology stuff is concerned. Yeah, I get it. No, that's huge. It really is. And um, no, I, I really love that. Um, I, I'm, I'm not that great at charting so that's so yeah we all have our we all have different strengths and weaknesses so um but yeah uh brian i would i guess you have a list of questions i sent you so you can kind of you know do your thing i guess start with this one and then you can kind of work your way down yeah um one thing i want to to say as well is andy has uh helped us personally when um we talk about some of those back office things he created a spreadsheet and we can pass it out if that's okay with andy he created a spreadsheet that uh, helps to chart. So basically you can just um, download uh, some information from the ItWorks website and if you plug it into your Excel document and instantly gives you what is still needed for uh, each box. Um, so it's, yeah, that was super helpful. It was, I mean, I, I work with this Excel and stuff, but what he had created was um, pretty in depth. So if you want something like that, we can give that to you or if you have something that, that that's some stuff that he's created for us that I've uh, we've really benefited from. Um, so yeah, one thing that I'd like to cover today, I guess is uh, something that's already come up in our, on our Facebook page or group and that's just diligence. Um, I can't talk about that more or I can't talk about that enough is, uh, is just being consistent. Um, I like to share a story about a, there's a girl that started off when we started off, we, we started off and then we signed her pretty quick. Um, she was our, my boss's wife and my old boss's wife. And uh, she got pretty excited about it. She started off and she, I think she got built herself up to like Ruby or even Emerald. And it was an, it was early on, so we were pretty pretty new at it too. But she built herself up to to like Ruby or Emerald, and then a lot of stuff happened to us and to her where we were getting a lot of like just crap from our friends, um, just kind of being ridic just kind of ridiculing her and just making fun of some st stuff with us even and um, and her husband became a little bit uh, unsupportive and would, would just make a lot of comments when she, when she got home about uh, like the house not being clean and what are you putting all this time into this and blah, 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 blah. And so eventually it made her quit. I mean, she told this all to us and she eventually quit the business. And um, what's ironic is, you know, two years later and even three years later now, when we run our numbers in our entire, underneath Claire and I, our entire company, she actually has the most volume, group volume, than any other person in our personal, uh, in our company. Just because she was up high and we, and then the people that were below her began to build and build and build and it grew and grew and grew. And so she would literally have been a triple diamond um, maintaining volume right now and making a lot of money, making way more money than her husband is right now. So it's just one of those things that you go, you just kind of go, man, I, that, it just sucks. She just did, she just wasn't consistent. She didn't stick with it. And she quit when she was a Ruby and it kept growing, kept growing, kept growing. And even though she wasn't there and she could have been making a lot of money right now. So consistency is huge. Um, I got a quote here that says, a person who remains focused and works diligently will eventually develop the essential skills and expertise. So, I like this quote because initially when I first started, I didn't know much about health and wellness products at all. In fact, the wrap kind of 
it, because it's so focused on kind of turned me off because I was like, man, that just seems like a – because the picture of it's a you know woman's belly and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, that's kind of – it just kind of hit me in kind of a little wrong. I like the way they've gone with the new uh, Blitz cards, that's for sure. But as I began to – so what I wanted to say is, so if you if you remain focused and work diligently, you'll eventually develop the skills, the essential skills and expertise. If I, if you took me or any one of you, and you picked me up and put me in another job, say welding, um, I don't know anything about welding. I know that you, <laughs> I don't know anything about welding. I can't even really explain it well. You melt metals, they connect the metals, they reharden, and now they're stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> that's basic and you need your and you need your helmet to make sure you don't go blind that's basically what it welding is um i've never welded i've never even really been around it but if you take me and put me in that job you got a couple people that know how what they're doing they teach me the how to use the tools i work at it i learn i i you know come consistent 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 eventually i'll be good enough to to weld something on to a hitch onto a car <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say um so what i've done is is early on in the business what i did is i took products that i really didn't know much about like for instance i took thermal fit um and i took the bottle and i went online to the website and i looked at the different um i took i looked at the at what it said about the product what it did and then i tried to understand what exactly it was saying for instance it talks about thermogenesis and thermogenics and uh and your body becoming thermal thermogenic thermal entering into a state of thermogenesis and i was like what the heck does that mean you know okay and then they said yeah it burns calories i was like well how does it burn calories well your body gets all into a state of thermogenesis and i was like okay Great. Now, what does that mean? So I had to do some Googling and like learn what exactly this means. Well, I found out that, so when you work out, just apart from using the product, if you work out, you get a high intensity workout, your body heats up internally because you're just rubbing, you're burning calories. And that's a state of thermogenesis. Another way that your body enters into thermogenesis is when you get really cold. Um, when you get cold, your body begins to shiver. Uh, and when you when you're shivering, what is actually happening is your internal body temperatures are ramping up, burning lots of calories, and and uh, it's, it's a state of thermogenesis. You're burning more calories. My uh, listen, it, my my mother-in-law, my father-in-law will, will crank their their temperatures really low, and you'll always be shivering in their house. And they say, well, at least you're, we're saving money and we're getting fit. But that's so yeah, thermogenesis. The the third way that your body enters into thermogenesis is when you eat hot chili peppers. Uh, red peppers, not just hot chili peppers, but red peppers have a uh, have something in it that's called Capermax, or um, I don't remember the exact word for it, but it's a red, it's the red pepper extract. And what happens is that in your internal body tenders, once again, rev up and burn extra calories. So the the pill that you're taking, the thermo, the the product thermo thermo fit <laughs> the thermo fit pill what it does is it's got these different um red pepper extract and different different uh something called capermax that is that is creating thermogenesis is ramping up your calorie burn so that's why it works um if you begin to learn the products and if you immerse yourself take a couple products and just and just understand what exactly it's doing you create you can communicate to someone their need for it uh another thing is my parents like for instance my parents used to say eat squash and i hated squash you know they say well it's good for you well when i stuck it into my mouth my body said it's not good for me i hated this stuff and i just didn't understand why it was good for me they did a poor job communicating to me why i needed squash that's the same thing with any of our products you got to understand what what uh, problem you're solving why they're so good for instance greens greens are amazing because they alkalize your body you don't know what alkalinity is or, or or an alkalized body then read up on it and study it because you'll you'll learn that if your body is alkaline 
by eating fruits and vegetables and staying away from pop, acidic things, that your body will be will not be able to, will um, diseases and stuff can't thrive in an in an alkaline environment. So if you understand what the product does, then you can communicate it to a customer. Uh, and that only comes by consistently just learning and, and really getting to know this stuff. So I would say definitely study. Um, our company is, I mean, a multi-million dollar company. People want the products. And you just look at, go to any, any store like Walmart or Walgreens, they've got sections full of products that we carry like multivitamins and fish oils and all these different things. You just get the benefit of making the money that that uh, um, Sam what's what's his name Walton Walmart the Walmart guy <laughs> he's making all the cash by all his products just sitting there and you and people going and buying them but now we get a cut of that by being able to um, sell those products so yeah um, that's all I've got so far Zach if you want to transition. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Sorry, guys. I had to find the dang unmute button. Keeps getting oh. lost on me. All right, so. Uh, one of the questions we had, um, let me see here. Um, was, that one, was that all your questions, Brian? I'm pretty sure. It was pretty That's kind of everything put into a big. I like that. <laughs> I, I like that. Um, Sorry, it sounds, it sounds like there's a tornado going off in here because I've got a lot of dang kids. Um, all right, so for one of the questions, I guess one of the first ones I'm going to hit on, it was one that you guys hit on, um, is how do I help my wife in the business? When I first started, I was, um, for one, I was working uh, like, like mad. Just like Brian said, um, I was working, you know, I was working all day long, and then I would actually you know, come home from work and eat dinner and hit the road and, uh, and work at Home Depot until like midnight or later, depending. So um, I didn't have a whole lot of time, but one thing I realized is this was our way out and this is our way to freedom. So I, I made sure that I, I allotted some time and it wasn't easy at first, honestly, but we figured out that if I could wake up first thing in the morning and what I would do is I'd wake up and I'd watch the news, get caught up on all the political gossip, and then I would, you know, I would spend an hour doing that every day. And, and I was basically wasting my morning. So, um, and then I would go to work. And so what I would do is I would wake up, sit down in the chair, and I wouldn't even turn on the TV or I'd mute it. And I would sit there and I would uh, add to my wife's Instagram. And I would add about two, around 200 people a day. And I would, um, I would specifically add people who I knew my wife would connect with, okay? So right at the time, my wife, we had a, a new little baby, so she was breastfeeding. And so I got my happy little behind on a breastfeeding uh, group on Instagram. And I'm like, as my wife, okay, so I'm on my wife's account, all right? Like, oh, she would be great. You know, I'm just sitting there, like, adding all these women. I'm like, breastfeeding, good, good, you know, just adding them. And the more kids, the better, because the more kids you have, chances are you're pretty broke. So I'm sitting there, you know, just going through. And I would add 200, 200 women every single day. And, um, and then I would, after I finished that, I would go through and like. And I would just, I mean, until my eyeballs pop out of my head, I would just like the snot out of that thing. And, um, and that, helped a, that helped a huge amount because, you know, she had, how many kids we have then? What, three? Did we have four, four kids then. I don't know. We had a lot of kids. We had four of them at the time. So she was having to take care of all those kids. And um, that was those. That was two actions that I took off her plate that really made a big difference because she was um, nuts, bro. Because she was uh, working, you know, trying to come up a post all day long. So that's a really big, big thing you can do to take off. Uh, that I, you know, if, if that's kind of your area. Um, uh, but number two, one thing that um, that people, one thing that was asked. Uh, privately was how do we present the business as men how do we present the business as men and um, how do we present the emerald bonus to people um, and that's a real big deal um, for uh, people that are trying to work the business themselves trying to post and come up with uh, good you know good eye-catching and um, 
uh, impactful posts, okay? So we really do have to know how to present these different bonuses and these different promotions as men. Um, and it, it kind of, it does feel like we can't really use the examples that are on the main pages because, um, because for one, it's women that are doing it. And there's a lot of exclamation marks in the, in the examples they give. And there's lots of hard eye emojis and all this kind of stuff. So it's kind of, it gives us the impression that there's no way I can, I can do that. I just can't. It's just, I can't, I can't send that to somebody. But, but. They work the business the same way the women do and use pretty much the same scripts that they use and the, and the same explanations. It's just minor, like minor little tweaks and put some manlier twist on stuff. I like to put manlier emojis. I, I basically use the same scripts and, and same messages that my wife uses, but instead of saying, hey girl, I'm like, what's up man, or something like that. And it just, it, all it really takes is a different intro and the rest of it, you know, it's backspace some like emojis and stuff and put a manly arm or something in there. And it's all of a sudden, it's a specifically manly um, thing. So, um, Brittany, he has something of yours that sounds glass. Um, but anyway, um, but yeah, so it's really pretty simple. We can use a, pretty much all the same stuff that women use, um, just with a little manly, manlier twist. And that's kind of going to be a, a theme throughout the next couple of questions I have, or I've been given, is um, we're not that different. It feels not that different, okay? Um, but uh, let me see here. Let me just, I made some notes because I will rabbit trail like crazy. So bear with me as I search through them. Um, but one thing that was in particular about the Emerald Bonus, because I feel like, uh, um, yeah, he asked how we present the Emerald Bonus. And basically, like, I don't, I don't present the Emerald Bonus, um, or we don't. My wife and I talk about this stuff all the time. But basically, we don't, we don't say Emerald. We don't say, hey, you know, if you reach the rank of Emerald, then you get $5,000. Don't say that, okay? Um, basically, just say, hey, you know, new distributors, when you're, when you're writing a post, say, hey, like, new distributors, who join our team can have a chance or, or have can earn the five thousand dollar bonus and word it that way. So because if you say if you throw out the word emerald, the, what's the first question they're going to ask you? Okay, so what is emerald? Uh, then you have to explain. Okay, well you join us in the street. Click that Ruby and go. And then people are like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. So make sure you just keep it pretty simple. What's up, bro? You want some cheese? Go get some cheese, man. Give me hanging. Give me hanging. Anyway, so uh, keep it pretty simple and keep it kind of vague. Um, there, and a lot of these tips are on the main pages as well. Um, um, but yeah, and that's another little tidbit that I'll throw in there. Um, make sure you do attend the women's Zooms, okay? The women's Zooms are phenomenal. And I, um, that's, that's all I did. Uh, and I say I turned on Fox News and muted it. Now looking back, I would turn women's Zooms on in the morning and I would do my self-development like on these Zooms. All these major leaders that were, that were doing Zooms, I would, I would stalk the heck out of their page and I would like watch a Zoom and I would get some great ideas for our business. So um, that's an, I don't think all of the ideas and tips they use are you, they cross the gender barrier. So um, but yeah, that's just a side note for you guys. But um, a big, the biggest part for the guys that are really trying to make posts and that are really trying to attract people to your personal page as a guy, um, more than anything else, and I mean this, more than anything else you can do, be freaking excited, okay? I convinced, I've convinced a lot of, a lot of people, especially early on, to, to either join our team or to buy a product that they knew basically nothing, but I was so freaking happy to like to have I'm like you are gonna love this this is gonna be the greatest thing you've ever done and I keep saying it's gonna change your life it's gonna change your life and you say that five times and then they're like holy cow it's gonna change my life and it really is you have to impress that that enthusiasm on your on your people um, and it's amazing how much just some raw enthusiasm it can uh, how far that can get you um, Especially during the 999 deal, man. I call I was I was messaging people that I hadn't talked to in forever and I was like, oh my gosh, it's 999. I'm so excited. This is gonna change your life. And they were like, all right, let's do it. You know? 
So, um, but yeah, so excitement is, is key. Honestly, more than any kind of word it, the wording you can use in your posts, just um, impress your excitement about the products, express your excitement about, um, about the business, and uh, that'll get you further than just about anything, okay? Um, let me see here. Next question, let me scroll across here, and I'll try to keep this pretty concise, all right? Uh, let's see here. How to write a post from a guy's perspective, all right? I don't, um, I guess a guy, I guess what they're trying to say is, or ask is really how, how to write a post that, uh, about to men. Um, it's kind of the vibe I got from that question. And um, really all of our products are, except for Estro Rhythm, you know, because, you know, we're men are are geared towards men. Okay, so there's really no product that you can't sell. And to be honest with you, I can probably sell Estro Rhythm if you give me the right person. You know, um, but I'm just saying, like, there's there's no barrier um, to to which products we can market. Um, I've I've personally gotten two guys on hair, skin, and nails um, for you know they're they're starting to lose their hair and they're freaking out. Um, my wife has gotten wives has had women contact her and say my husband's going bald like holy crap we got to do something um do you have anything for this and so and they buy hair skin and nails for her husband so something like hair skin and nails sounds so womanish but it's all in how you present it okay so if you present it like and you're gonna reach a whole lot of men that way but if you you know market it as like hey you know how fight the effects of aging uh, Dr. Don talks about how hair, skin, and nails come, really helps to prevent graying um, and hair loss. You know, it's a, a good preventative if somebody has it in their family history. You know, take some hair, skin, and nails, and that can help to fight the you know fight your genetic issues. So, um, just market it that way. Really get to know the products, kind of like Brian was saying. Get to know the products. Uh, the more you know the products, the better you will be able to market them. And uh, I know I spent a lot of time in the beginning of the business. Um, Really, just scroll, searching through the web page. Oh, don't click that. Uh, man. Ooh, why don't you go get a cheese stick? Oh, I mean, there's so many of them in there. Yeah, there's a lot of good There's a lot of cheese sticks. Come buddy. Love you. Oh, he didn't care. Anyway, there's a. If you go to the to the main product page, there are there's like more info tab. And every single product. And honestly, I go through all the time, and I would just kind of. Uh, <laughs> um, Andrew, I'm just kidding. I just saw the comments. I'll catch up on them in a second. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's over here. Um, but yeah, so just really get versed in, in what all these products can do. Um, one thing that uh, I've sold several people on uh, in the past is uh, the It's Vital Core. That is a hugely man product. Um, man, I mean, so it's a great uh, multivitamin. There's, that's totally general, gender neutral um, and easily marketed towards guys. Uh, shake, uh, shake is huge. Profit is huge. Cleanse is huge, guys. I sold. I mean, we. Well, me and Brittany, mainly Brittany, okay. But I, I sold one guy on cleanse, okay. I'm not gonna overstate myself. But yeah, we. Have, she sold so many guys on cleanse, um, and I sold one of my best friends on cleanse, and he lost ten pounds. He was that, and he became a little customer, and and. I talked to him this week, but he he couldn't he could wait. Um, and so I'm like, dude, you need a cleanse. I'm like, you got to reset. I see you probably got a lot of stuff built up and that's probably why you can't lose weight. And, um, and he, he, he bought it, dropped 10 pounds, had a total reset and dro shredded the rest of his weight off, but he had plateaued and the cleanse really helped him with that. So just, you know, tune in and, and really get plugged into the, into the product coach, get plugged into the wet, into the, the, the paid, the uh, website. There's so much good info about the products there. Um, and honestly, the more product knowledge you have, the more you can sell somebody. Um, and that's really, that's really key. So take some extra time, even if you're not a green, um, I really have like this much green in me at all. Like I, I don't understand the green brain. Like Brian's so green. I don't, I don't you know, Andy, you seem so green, but, uh, I am like bluish red. Um, and so. I'm not a studious person, but I realize that if I sell people on these products, man, I have got to, um, I've got to know them. And that's just the fact of the matter. So that's a, that's a big way of how we can, uh, 
I guess the question was like how we post from a guy's perspective. And really to know, to do that is you have to, uh, to know the product, just know the products and post them, post about like how they can help men. It's really, it's really pretty simple. Um, let me see here. And business posts, and I'll stop rambling, but business posts um, are really simple as well. I mean, for us, for me, for me, for me, Brian and Andy, and um, uh, it's and Ryan. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit easier because we, you're, our wives have hit a certain level, so you can kind of talk about success that that we've had in the business, how much freedom we have from it, and how much you know can pay for our groceries and all that good stuff. But in the beginning, um, you know, there's. I will pause and just say that there's a lot of good trainings on full depth on this, but because I can go way in depth, but just post about about like little things that it does for you. You know, when you're out uh, going to the grocery store, just like the women do, I take I used to take my kid and go get ice cream, and I would be like, you know, take a picture of him in the, in the basket, and I'd be like, snap it, and he'd be holding ice cream, and I'd be like, thanks, it works for a midnight snack. Something simple like that, and people are like. Why is he thinking it works? What does that even mean? And people are really curious about it. And the more you post about the business, little things like that can really make a big difference um, and get people's you know, wheels turning. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to skip over the next question. See what we have here. Um, I kind of covered a lot of this, but uh, they, they asked like how to word messages from a guy to a girl. Um, and I will say that uh, that's the first part of the question. How do you how do you word messages from a guy to a girl? Uh, your business, your own, and you're as a guy. Like um, you have to, I guess, message from women. And it, and uh, the big the big hindrance in it is in your head. And I'm just gonna say you gotta get over yourself, okay? Because that's one thing that uh, that my wife had to tell me over and over again when we first started this business because I, I didn't want to message anybody. I'm like, I pretty, I'm not messaging people. I just can't do it. I'm, they're going to, they're going to think I'm weird. They're going to think this, or this is a girl. I haven't talked to her in five years, you know, whatever. I used to be friends with her, but it's been five years, but it's really, um, it's really not that big of a deal. The big issue is in your head. You think they're going to, that they're going to think you're crazy or what the heck, what the heck is he doing? But it's really, most people don't think that way. And even if they do, who cares? Like you're going further. Like you are going so so far beyond what they what they see you as now that they don't even, they're not even gonna know you in a year. So just have faith in the process. Guys, don't be don't be afraid of messing. Chances are if they say no, like most of these people you barely even know anyway. So but it's really it's, they're not enriching your I don't know. Most of the people that say no and are mean to you aren't rich in your life anyway. So you just kind of figure out who's 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 the good guys and who are the bad guys. So it kind of helps you out in the long run. I know I did. I have a couple of guys that were just total uh, explicit explicit words to me. Uh, <laughs> they were not nice to me. Okay, and you know what? Screw those guys. That's my kind of attitude. I'm like, you know what? Not really. Basically, I'm done with you. So I would unfollow them. Like, you know what? They're not my friends anyway. So you don't have a lot to lose. Just be confident in yourself. Um, and that can, that can get you a long way. Uh, let me see here. And also, uh, they asked, are the, are the current scripts really relevant for men? Because that's one thing that I, got, I was getting private messages about. I already hit on this, okay? Yes, they are so relevant. Use those scripts. Uh, tweak them to make, make it sound like you, but use those scripts, guys. Because um, they're proven. Let's get afraid of them. All righty, Brian, um, I'm going to turn this over to you. Uh, and really, uh, one big question that I think we were, uh, that we were asked was, and I think it's super important, is how to set goals in this business. Uh, because there's, we have some guys on, there, or they're going to catch the replay, and uh, a lot of the guys in the replay are really trying to work this business hard, like by the, uh, for themselves, and, uh, and trying to like pave a way for themselves. So one of the questions that they were asking was, how do you set goals in this business? What is a realistic goal? And um, basically, basically, like what goals do you, or do you set for yourself? For me, it's steps to success, but for you, it may be different. Go ahead, Brian. Sure. Um, well, a couple different types of goals. That's goals to how, how you're working or what you're working in your business, what you're gonna set yourself to do. Other goals are like um, charting. So like when we chart, <laughs> My wife and I are, can be different sometimes. I, I help her make all the, make the charting, you know, decisions. 
we always sit down with every distributor and just kind of talk about it. Um, I would, this, this is how I work. My wife's a little different, but I would say, um, look at your, really look at your chart. Charts, charts get me excited. I like to see, okay, if, if you're a distributor, I can remember back to being a distributor and I can remember thinking, okay, what does 400 bucks mean? And then, then I remember thinking, okay, what do I have to do to get to be an executive and um, how close am I getting? So like in, you can go on your, it works and you can um, enter in the volume or you can enter in the names on a chart and it updates throughout the month um, to show how, how much volume each 400 box has, each Ruby has each, et cetera, et cetera, until they they hit their, their numbers. Um, I would say don't get too far ahead of yourself. Like for instance, when we were shooting for Ruby, I remember looking at a, a diamond chart and being like, oh my goodness, how the heck is that ever going to happen? I mean, it just looked overwhelming because we were look, working on a, on a Ruby chart, which is two people here because it's an executive with two people under them. And then it's a couple others over here. And I just remember thinking, man, a diamond, that, that's just mind blowing. But it didn't, it, as we started to chip away at things and we started to inch towards Ruby, get closer towards Ruby and then hit Ruby. Then we get out our Emerald chart and we're like, okay, now this looks big, but we've got all this Ruby stuff done. And now, and then you see yourself chipping away. It's those small steps, but you say your goal at the next level, but really get to know what you need. If you don't know what you need to be at, to hit your next goal, then you've got, then you're not doing it right. Because if you gotta be, you gotta know, okay, I need to be really working on customers right now. I really need volume to fill my 400 boxes so I can hit that, that next, that next uh, promotion. Because when you hit those next promotions, you unlock the different tiers you get paid on. Um, and so every single promotion, you're going to be getting paid more, even if it's the exact same volume. Because so for instance, if you hit, if, if you're getting paid as a Ruby and you're working towards Emerald, if you have the exact same number of volume and then you hit Emerald, you're actually going to be getting paid. Your check is going to increase because you're getting paid on more levels. Um, so, and then you obviously want to hit diamond, but so really know what you're charting for, what your next goal is and really be pushing for it. Talk about it. Get excited. If you have a wife, significant other, talk about it, get excited about it. We were, it was constantly on our mind. We were constantly strategizing. Okay. We need to do this. Okay. We do that. Oh, you got a customer. Awesome. Okay. It came through. Awesome. We were pumped. Every victory, every customer was a victory. Every distributor was a victory getting closer to the next goal, to the next goal, to the next goal. And then when you start to see your people working and, and feeling their own stuff, you're like, all right, we're good. This can happen. We're going to get there. And so, um, yeah, so I, I would definitely know your, definitely know what your next uh, rank is and sit down and really get to know what you need to get there. Um, as far as it goes for goals for like working the business, um, that's something, my wife is just like, just a hard worker. She's so consistent. So, um, she's so good at, at, uh, just being consistent. Um, I have found that, uh, in my, my work, I'll look at the things that need to, that are going to be income producing. Um, what I have seen other distributors under us get tied up in is they'll be on Facebook. They'll be on, um, all the different groups and all the different zooms and all different things, but they're not working. <laughs> you know, they're constantly gaining more and more information and constantly chit chatting and stuff, but there's no work, <laughs> you know? And so, and then you're, and, and they wonder why they're just kind of spinning and nothing's happening. Um, you got to look at your time and say, did I look back every day and just say, did I really do something that was income producing? Did I sit down and did I add to my network on Instagram? If you have Instagram, if your wife has Instagram, I'm talking to different people here, different groups of people. If your wife has Instagram and you just don't work it, but she's messaging and she's posting, then increase her, um, the people that are going to see those posts. That's your, that's what you need to do. If you're just not, if you're not the guy who's going to be on there, uh, posting and reaching out to people, increase her, uh, her network so that she hits those people when she posts. Um, if you're going to be, if you're going to be messaging, then sit, sit down. Measure. Just so what I would say is when you get to the end of the day, look back, take a real, um, real look at what you've done and say, have I, have I increased, have I done something that's income producing or did I just kind of 
spin. And I know we all come for th with different, uh, we all have, have different amount of time that we can work the business. Um, but use what you can. You could, another thing is goals. Like what, what do you want to do with this business? What's the purpose of this? For, for me, it was, I wanted to get out of what I was doing. I know that's not all of you. I know some of you are ha very happy with your work and that's great. Um, but this can add a lot of money to your pocket. You want to go to, I mean, I have hobbies. I like to do fun things. I want four wheelers. I want, <laughs> I'm sounding really materialistic, but <laughs> I, I like to, I like to do fun stuff. I want a sweet metal detector. I want to be able to go and uh, hunting trips. I want, to, I want to take my dad on a big game hunt. I mean that he's never shot a, he shot a spike buck, but he's never shot a big buck. I want to take him out to Texas or he can literally just line them up and shoot one um, or an elk hunt or something like that. I want to, I want to, you know, those are the kind of things that, that motivate me and get me excited. Uh, we support missionaries. We, 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 we have a heart for Jesus. And one of the things I want to do is I want, I want to help others who are out there when we've had people who have called, who have said we need a car and I wasn't in the financial place where I could help them. Well, I couldn't buy the car. I'd love to be able to do stuff like that. Just here's a car. Um, so I would sit down. I really like when people push the, um, make a, a board, a goal board, a, uh, help me out, a, um, dream board, dream board. That to me is exciting. I like my wife and I sat down, we got some, um, you make think we got, we got out some, um, magazines and we just went through and got pictures of stuff that we want. I put a travel trailer on there. I put a hunting trip. I put, boundary waters trips. I put all these things that I would love to do. And then we put it in a prominent place so that we could see it. And I would remember that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why. Cause it does take hard work. Everything, I mean, you know, anything you do is going to, is going to be work and it's going to take hard work and consistent work. Um, I just see that this pays off way better than any other thing I've ever been a part of. So uh, to me, this labor is way worth is way more better than throwing down sod or roofing a house or <laughs> because I'm getting paid a lot more for it, for that initial work. Um, answer that question. All right, Zach. I think, I think that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, and yeah, as far as like just basic goals, I mean, our business is tried and true. Steps of success. If you can get your, your customers and distributors fill up your steps of success, uh, eventually you will reach your goal. You will. True metal. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I guess that's about it. Um, is there anything you want to add? Anybody? I, sorry. I, I don't know where my wife went. <laughs> but yeah, if, uh, if everybody's good to go, uh, I think that pretty much, are there, are there any questions from anybody that, uh, that we missed or you want to add in? Unmute yourself if you have one. If not, then uh, we can move on. All righty. Well, we will uh, this will conclude our inaugural men's Zoom. All right. So uh, if you guys uh, ever have anything that you don't want anybody to cover, um, then we can uh, we can cover later on. But seriously, everyone who's watching the replay, uh, make, make sure that you can use the group. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, somebody will answer it in a very timely manner. Any kind of questions you have, um, reach out to any of us personally if you need to. Um, we are always there to help and support you in any way that we can. Um, and just uh, thank everyone for, for contributing to this group. And we're so, we're just really super pumped to get all this started off and, and uh, really make some waves. But uh, thank you guys so much for hopping on. And uh, we will see you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Night.